Bebop Human Art Nation. Guess who's back? Is this guy right over here? Yeah, I've kind of sort of still living here. Anyways, um, so today's video is going to be on top five worst YouTube channels ever. ever. Yes. That we, uh, in our opinion, who are the worst YouTubers out there? Oh, and to all the people who are going to troll us saying, oh, you're just jelly because they're bigger stars. You know what? Go fuck yourself. Because uh, they jelly. do kind of suck. They be saying go jelly. Yes, I would like jelly in my jelly sandwich. So fuck off. Yeah, so anyway, number five, what's yours? I just eat. She is an eye whore. She's done nothing good for this for the internet. But at least at least she doesn't make No, I can't say that. She makes terrible content. But She's making a living, and at least she is knowledgeable. Your number five? We'll be also I Justine, but this other different channel that she has, which is number five, I Justine Gaming, or oh, whatever she oh. calls it. Never have I seen a gamer just... I know she's paid to be just pretend to be dumb and shit, but she just takes it to a whole other level, saying like, oh, what am I doing here? Sing... Singing all that sh shit. Have you seen her do Portal 2? It's like, God damn, you're taking it too far. And I'm terrible at Portal 2. And you don't even pay attention to what the guy tells you to do. It's like, he's like, go to your left. He goes like, where do I go? Because she can't, can't stop talking. She is blonde. Well, she's a smart blonde. She knows she's what not, she's doing. She's not a smart blonde. She's, she's getting money, though. Oh, have you seen that video of her, like, making money out of the malaria? Yes, I did. I don't want to go into that. Number four. You're number four? You're number four. Ah. My number four is going to be Shane Dawson slash Anision. Because they're both terrible. They both do nothing good for the internet. They both make shitty content. And being random does not make you funny. At times, but you gotta do it good. No, let me finish. Being random does not make you funny at all. Being random is different from funny. People tell me I'm kind of funny. I'm also random. I don't mix the two together and confuse the two. I know what random is and I know what humor is. There's a big difference. Personally, I like dry satire and deadpan black comedy. That's my favorite type of comedy. I enjoy death jokes. I think they're funny. I think depressing shit is hilarious. That's just me. But Anision, has rammed his views down people's throats for too long. Shane Dawson has a vagina. He's gay. But we all know it. He makes terrible videos, and Anision is just his work is worse. And just that's just all I have to say on that. I I, I can't. I just can't. Your number four. I'd have to go with Michael Gallagher from TotallySketch.com, or Totally Sketch, a YouTube channel. Why? Because all his videos is nothing about sex. That guy has sex on the brain all the goddamn time. He has good quality videos, but if you watch every one of his videos back to back, there's something sexy in there, like a sexy girl. Yes, I know sex sells and you need your views up, but that's what he bases his channel off of. Because he gets hot women doing sexual things, and he has too much sex on the brain. God damn it, Michael Gallagher, just tone it down, holy shit. Can you do a regular video where there's no sex involved? Fair enough. By the way, doing a number top five is actually pretty difficult because if it was top ten, I have it down to a T, but for top five, it's more hard. My number three. My number three is pretty difficult to choose. My number three consists of money grubbing whores. I can't choose. I'm just one number three. Oh no. I can't. How many do you have to choose? How many? <clears throat> Shaytards. They're terrible. Ray William Johnson is terrible. I can't say that those reply girls are really active anymore. You can't really say it because it's 2014 and I don't. they really don't make many more videos. What reply girls? What are you talking about? Sexy Phil or Philip DeFranco. Yeah. Shay Carl. Shay Carl, you already Shay said Carl, that. I know. Yeah. That chick who's the other Shane Dawson with a vagina, um... Brittany Louise Taylor. Yeah, she's just, she's just bad. 
Uh, it, it's just, let's just say anybody for, really from Maker Studios. That's who I'll say because they're just, the guessings are terrible. And I can't really just put it down to that. Go ahead. What number are we on? Three. three. Yeah. Number three for me would be the annoying orange. At first he was funny. Because it was the annoying orange. I got the idea. It's like, yeah, you're annoying. You're funny. But then it just wouldn't stop. Same formula. Every fucking episode. And I just got tired of it. All of, I hear this every episode. It's like, hey, Apple. Hey, Apple. Ha, 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 ha. Hey, banana. Hey, pear. Ha, ha. Watching that after like 10 to 20 episodes, I said, I'm done. I can't do this anymore. It was a, Like I said, it was a good idea at first. But he just went too far with it and just wouldn't stop. So, Annoying Orange, number three for me. He just, it would have been good if he stopped it at a certain point, but he's still doing it today. Number two. This is completely not tough at all. Miss Hannah Minx, even though her tits are nice, they're fake, possibly. She is a useless internet prostitute. Plain and simple. But she's not my no main number two. My main number two is PewDiePie. That would be number one for you. No, <laughs> there's worse. PewDiePie is number two because he's just fucking terrible. Get him. But, but brings up a point. So-called let's players who are fucking terrible at their craft. People who record with a camera. A terrible potato camera. And have a potato microphone potato that does, that squawks half the time and screeches. Just to have, you know, PewDiePie is an obvious choice, but it's, uh, running up number two, besides Miss Hannah Minx, is Probably, yeah, YouTube commentator, Call of Duty players. Call of Duty commentators, Call of Duty, Call of Duty, Call of Duty, Call of Duty, Battlefield, 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 Xbox players on YouTube, and console players on YouTube who are terrible at their videos. That That's my number two, and I know it's difficult to say, and I, sh I know it's not just one, but it's, it's true. I'm a very convoluted person, but that's true, I choose. Number two. Number two would be Shane Dawson for me. I'm not gonna lie, I used to be subscribed to this guy. I used to find him funny. Up until I found out about Archfiend, I started watching his videos and he started exposing Shane Dawson for what he is. And then I started watching more of Shane Dawson and I'm, I'm seeing, Archfiend is right. Shane Dawson does misleading titles and fake thumbnails with putting hot girls that are nowhere in the goddamn video and puts in a title like Rihanna is a badass and then you watch the video. And it's just talking in, and he's just talking inside his closet about some random bullshit. And the view counter is like two to millions. Yeah, I used to be subscribed to him, but now I just unsubscribed him because his videos are just goes nowhere. He just talks about his random shit in his life. And as much as I like Shane Dawson as a person, wait, no, scratch that. I meant I have no problem with gay people. I love gay people, my uncle's gay, I accept gay people. But Shane Dawson needs to come out of the closet already, because we all know he's gay. Because come on, it's bloody obvious. Even though he says he has a girlfriend, Michael Jackson had a wife. Same thing, but Shane Dawson, he's just riding it. <laughs> <laughs> my fucking five. Try, try it again, try it again, try it again. <laughs> That was uh, awesome. Uh, I, I, yeah. <laughs> number one. Uh, number one. Go ahead. McDuffin one. He makes terrible videos and does nothing right with his channel. He is a boring YouTuber and he must be destroyed. Number one. Zero. Humanoid freak. Because he makes bad Let's Plays. <laughs> no, oh, the, real, yeah. the real number one um, is obviously me. Because I'm fucking no. The real number one is video makers. These so-called... Looked up and kids. Yeah, that are just fucking bad. They've done nothing. They do nothing right. They have no skills. They do, they do nothing right. Uh, I just, I'm sick of their videos. I've only watched maybe a couple seconds of them. I'm just like, 
please God, no. Actually, no. My true number one, people that allow this shit to happen. So, in no particular order, I shall now list off five different artists that are terrible. Kesha, 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 Nicki Minaj. We're talking about YouTube people, not celebrity stars. No, I'm talking about YouTube channels. Vivo. He can die. No. Oh, those. Yeah, yeah. I hate fucking Vivo. Fuck them. Ads. Ads are bad. But the worst channel... For, you don't hear about Fred anymore, so you can't really rant about him. You can't really say anything. Fred like, doesn't do much anymore. I sent him a message once. He never... Lucas never replied, obviously, but... You know, you don't hear about him any more. No, that, and that's and this is a this Which is a thing because he annoyed the shit out of me back in the day. So my he would have been my number one, but my true number else. one is good. Yeah, it's definitely going to be video makers, people who just don't know how to use how to use a camera properly. You old videos. Yeah, when I first started, I was horrible. I got. I, I think we all that. I will admit, when you first start seeing my videos from the very beginning. I had a very shitty camera and the audio was horrible. My first video yeah, was... I got a real camera and, and then I started learning and shit. My first video that's still up is my Conker's Bad Fur Day video done on a webcam. And it makes me cry every team. So yeah. And I keep it up as a reminder, as a lot of YouTubers do. They keep their old videos up. To, to remember the bad shit. Yeah, to remember how, not how, to far, go back to remember how far they've come, you know. Not they, to go back to how you once were. Exactly, exactly. And the people that don't, that refuse to grow up, you know, I could talk about that, that, nar that who was it? The, that chick who's really fat and sings Katy Perry and Nicki, like, something no loves you. She's, some, she looks like a fucking wal walrus. I have no idea, dude. I have to show you. She's so bad. Point is, that's my number one. Anybody who cannot upgrade their content and make better content and never gains any skill and makes the same shit all the time. I like Tobuscus, but his videos have gotten too predictable, so I can't put him on there. I like this YouTuber. I like that YouTuber. I like Sin Pro Syndicate. He's okay, but most of the... These videos just become boring, boring, boring. So that's my number one. Yours? My number one would be PewDiePie. Mostly because, hold on, first let me describe. When I first started watching PewDiePie in the beginning, he was mellow. I'm, and I'm wondering, why do people bash on this guy? I'm starting to watch. And then this guy showed me one recent video of his, and I watched it. And all of a sudden, all I hear is rape, 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 rape. It's like, I'm a fucking... The guy can shut the fuck up. Stefano! Stefano! Seriously, this is what he does. It's like, and whenever something scary, supposedly scary, something happens, he goes like, must go behind the door, what's gonna go on? It's like, ah! 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 Come on, dude, it's not even scary. We know you're acting and shit. Best video to ever know about PewDiePie. I want you in the American Army, the Canadian Army. The best video to ever watch on PewDiePie is there's two. That one react, not the elders, not the teens. The adults over. react? No. The one that was done by Repsu, Repsu Prey. Basically, the ones were like, fuck this shit. And they get bored of it. Yeah. But the other one done by Psych Pe Psychic Pebbles called Please Die Pie. Yeah. That the other is thing I hate about PewDiePie is his PewDiePie army. Because they go like, oh my god, this is art. And I'm watching this like, motherfucker screaming at the top of his lungs. Good lord! How old are these fans of his? Bro like, fist will go on. The bro yeah. army will fight also, on. Also, another thing that fight pisses me what? off is like I read upon something where like anybody who wants to do an amnesia walkthrough has to get permission from PewDiePie first. Fuck that shit! I'll do an amnesia playthrough without asking him. That's like the creator of Candy Crush Saga trying to sue, trying to get copyright over the word candy. Yeah. I think they try to. What's next? Yeah. Cookie Clicker gonna and take And also, all I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this. PewDiePie is the Michael Bay of YouTube. Instead of explosions, he does screaming. Yes, I said it. PewDiePie is the Michael Bay of YouTube. Come at me. I want to hear it all. I don't care. No, you're right. He, 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 wait, 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 wait. He is terrible. And Cosmo, one of the best speedrunners on YouTube to date, well Zelda speedrunners to date, hates him with a passion. In fact, most people who have any anyone real... Anyone who's over 18. Anyone who's over 14 
or 15. Oh, uh, notice it's like only 18 that people don't start noticing this. No, when I know 16 year olds who don't who hate him with a passion. Okay. Anybody who has a working brain, a working brain, and an old soul, yeah, will, will not watch PewDiePie's videos. I I watched a couple. You know, and one thing that pisses me off most about PewDiePie, his about Felix, no, 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 about Felix is the fact is he presented his case in sweet to a group of mature adults in a big hall and gave a speech. Oh, I saw that video. Oh my god, that was so cringeworthy. I had respect for him at first, but then he does, and the fact that he saved up all his money, and the you want to know why he's foreign or why why he's so popular? Because he's foreign, because chicks like him, because he's from Sweden. Yeah, that accent. Yeah, and I, it's terrible. I'm sorry, he, he made, lost his accent recently. He made a Harlem Shake video, and it was god awful. The only thing I like by him at all, and when he calls him brows, and that shit, and when people call him pewds, it's like, shut up. The only thing I like by PewDiePie at all would be his, because he actually gives somewhat of a shit. Are his um, guitar videos, the one where he not his just dance shit, because that's garbage, but the ones where he plays that guitar game. I can't think of it. Guitar Hero? No, it, you actually play a real guitar. Oh, yeah. Okay. And I can't think of it. And I think he played Wonderwall and a couple other songs. Oh, he played Resistance by he played a song by Muse, and I actually like that because I, I like haven't Muse. Seen that yet. No, but he, I mean, that's about it. That's all he's ever done that was worthwhile of watching. You know, he's just so, I, he's just terrible. So, like, he's not, not to end this video on a depressing note, we're gonna name our favorite YouTuber. In another video. No, just right now, our number one favorite YouTuber. And then later on, we'll talk about our top five favorite YouTubers. Top 10. Top 10, yeah. I Who's can't... your favorite YouTuber? Pink, pink. Myself. Hey. Besides yourself. <laughs> no, actually, I don't even like some of my videos. Um, well, that's really tough because some days I enjoy Total Biscuits videos. Sometimes I enjoy Nerd Cubes videos. Sometimes I enjoy watching Review Tech USA's videos. There will be times when I will watch the... Uh, no. No. Until Classic Game Room pretty much left YouTube, that was one of my favorite channels. I would say that a channel I watch on a regular basis... I don't have one. I don't have a favorite YouTuber. That's just the truth. I don't. Because I watch too many videos. I watch a lot of Northern Lion lately. I like his videos. So I'm going to say Northern Lion. Because he's Canadian and he's a gamer and he plays weird games. My favorite YouTuber would be Black Nerd Comedy. The, uh, it's like Andre Meadows. This guy knows his shit because he's nostalgic. He knows everything from the 90s and shit. He grew up in the same era I am. True fact about, true fact about him. He was in a porn. He was in a terrible porn movie. Andre Meadows. Yep. <laughs> it was called Barely Legal. It was on Netflix. You can catch it right now. I think it's if you. I don't know if you can get Canadian Netflix. But basically, it's um, it's about three girls that want to lose their virginity on their birthday. Seriously. Yep. And he's in it. And it involves a dog, a chick who is Catholic and doesn't like anything to do with sex. Then meet, then finds a washing machine. This is fucked up. And then finds, yeah, they're a bunch of rich bitches. But anyway, and then one chick that, turns out to be a lesbian. That shit aside, I'll just say like, like I said, my favorite YouTuber would be Audrey Meadows from Black Nerd Comic because it was awkward talks with girls, like Black Nerd Rants. Talks with girls. Black Nerd Rants and him going off on TMNT new movie, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movie all the time. It was our stuff, and that's where I believe. Actually, I think also, my favorite. I like the, if, if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't get the uh, my sign-off thing where I put my hand on the camera because he does the same shit. So I just basically did it from him, like an homage to him, like when he goes ching chong bing, or whatever he says, I forget, and does the camera thing at the end. That's what I do, but I say my own thing. Honorable mentions of terrible YouTubers, I Justine again. <laughs> Anything she's ever created is bad. So anyway, to leave on a good note, anyways, take it easy. Human and Peter thing. Chow. Don't really like Peter Chow that much. Anyways, have, take it easy, humanoid. Get out. McDuffin out, and so am I. Whoa. That's my way into it. Fuck you, guy. Damn, and I grind till I get mine. So I keep it on the real like the fish line. Nah, 
I ain't saying I'm the greatest, but I'm blowing up. I think it's time that we face.